this presentation happened to name part first about our background in the topic um, previously to work with vulnerability area in Madrid region project no? but I think um, our experience is, is very special in this case because uh, mm, in the case of the Madrid region project the circumstances of vulnerability are very different than in other contexts and our experience is mm, more similar than that you have that is usually with people with uh, uh, better training or classical education or occidental education no? this is the case of museum this is the case of the school this is the case of this kind of of context no but in, in these areas it's a little different and um, we explain with a case that uh, has to has relation with uh, archaeological aspect. This is the case of Alcalá de Henares. I tried to explain something about the archaeological site and the cotton with this kind of neighborhood. And finally, to, to insist in the idea that we are starting with this kind of study, but we have to continue. No? Um, because we have a lot of problem with methodologies and uh, the way that we are working in the line of participatory processes. The origin of the project is uh, with the uh, case of the study of World Heritage City. And we are working especially uh, with the idea of archaeological heritage management. And we try to, to work in Latin America and Spain with case concerning to improve the urban archaeology. <laughs> and at the same time, the project of vulnerability, participation, and citizenship is about resilience and try to, to know better uh, the social problem in this, in this area. And uh, um, concerning the, our work in community involvement, we have a great experience because uh, we are uh, working for 2010 in a lot of projects. And I think I would like to insist in the idea of participation here and participation processes because I think it's a little different to the fashion or to education um, that we are another experience in this case, but uh, participation have to suppose to try to, to establish relationship more horizontal with people and that people can change our narratives and uh, make decisions in the same level of uh, responsibility that the research. No? in general. And I think this is the chain of the model, this is the difference, no? And we have um, a lot of experience, that of course, I have not explained here, but to understand a little bit, but um, I insist in the idea that in the context of vulnerability, we are only working in Latin America, in Cuba and Mexico, in the city of La Habana, and in the city of Puebla, the, uh, they are two World Heritage sites, but in this context, the vulnerability is a little different because these sites are very monumental and very famous uh, for cultural heritage uh, values. And at the same time, the population is mixed because you have a social vulnerability and you have a community with a lot of problems. But at the same time, you have visitors, tourists, and, and rich people. And it's in the case of a region of Madrid is a little different because the area is not a special uh, archaeological, uh, sorry, cultural heritage site or world heritage site. In the case of Alcana de Lares, it's close to the city center, but it's out of the city center. And then um, our interests or our objectives are similar in both cases. No? We try to, to, to know the disattachment. We try to correlate with this attachment concerning uh, cultural heritage with this kind of people. <laughs> and at the same time, we, can, we try to look for uh, new ways to understand cultural heritage, to understand our past common that is not only the scientific point of view of this. No? That, that is the, the idea. Mm, I, I would like to show the definition of for, to to deep in that, in it, but I think uh, the important here of, of the idea of vulnerable uh, neighborhood, or at least important for, for me, 
is uh, that this kind of neighborhood have an opportunity to, to improve the situation, no? because it's the, limited, the limit of, the, of a good life or, or a better life or not a better life. No? I think uh, for us it's very important to work in, in this context, in the context of this project, because we are not archaeologists, it's not the protagonist, a cultural heritage is not the most important here. We are uh, a small, small part of the project. The role of archaeology is small, but uh, for me, <laughs> this is the best of the project because uh, we have to, to get introduced in projects of sociologists, architects, and to introduce cultural values in this context, no? in this kind of, of the, uh, research. In this case, the objective of the project is I'm stating here the, the summary of the general project. No, and the intention is to describe and, lo or, and locate in the region of Madrid these vulnerable, vulnerable areas and to try to, 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 to know how it can improve. The lead of the project is my colleague, Marta Domínguez, who is a sociologist and leads the research team. We are working for the research team. Uh, another research team of sociology is about international migration. Another is about architecture and social housing. And finally, our research team that, that the part of cultural heritage is in my chair. No? Uh, the general uh, methodology of the project is uh, very classical in sociological studies. So one part, the most important part, was the quantitative analysis to define uh, vulnerable neighborhood. You can guess in, I don't know, but statistical data, a lot, 1,000 of, of indicators that I am, they are working to define this kind of, uh, of areas in, in Madrid. And after that, we start to work with qualitative analysis, in our case, with part of participatory action, but in all these neighborhood with uh, interviews, and to try to contrast the, the documentation with the uh, Field work, no, and to contrast the, the situation. Then this is the result of uh, um, quantitative analysis. That is a very hard uh, process. The, the sociologists divide uh, the vulnerability and the social profile of the people in, in, in two main profiles. That is uh, <coughs> with uh, areas with hyper ethnic hyper diversity and other that are more homogeneity in the way um, of the people, no? The, uh, um, we detected around uh, 500 neighborhoods in Madrid, but around 100 have problems of vulnerability, and you can see the, the division of, of the problem, no? With this topic, but for me, the most important here, we can question, no? The methodology, the terminology, or all that, I think uh, to suppose that uh, one million people in our region live in vulnerability condition. The region of Madrid is around eight million of, per of people, no? That is a lot of people, no? I think uh, that is the, the important here, no? Uh, the rest, uh, I have no time to explain better, but you can understand more or less the idea is to study 10 years and in, in one kind of uh, neighborhood persists in the problem, in other um, high the, the problem increase, and in other the less uh, improve. No. Uh, then we have the problem with this kind of area is uh, motivated because in most of them have uh, infrastructure, school, even health center, a little public space, a green space that sometimes not very bad, but uh, social and cultural values, values uh, are not working, no? Um, that is the idea to, to continue. This is Madrid, <laughs> the region of Madrid, not only the capital, it's only the, uh, all the region. This is the, um, the map uh, with different municipalities, and you can see the color, the green area is not a problem because this is the rural area, natural area, um, in fact, people have less problem. 
but all the population, population are concentrated in the center of the community. And the different colors that you can see is uh, blue and orange color are the, the conditions, social conditions. Uh, this is a <laughs> middle class, orange color, and blue colors are uh, rich people, no? Borrowers, no? That is the idea. <laughs> and our protagonist of here is in, uh, in the areas of uh, red color and purple color, no? More or less. Because I have no time to to the but you can uh, image here. That is our uh, vulnerable neighborhood are in this area. No? For qualitative um, analysis, uh, we select see, uh, that that is the the axis of the. I change the order. Okay, we selected uh, seven uh, neighborhood. To, to make the interviews with um, sociological technical and, and in these interviews we had three axes and as you can read here, both of them are uh, focusing on sociological aspects, architectural aspects, even public policies and another topic, three minutes, okay. And uh, the other part is cultural heritage that uh, our objective you more or less know and we, the interesting here is we, everybody make the interviews, sociologists, architects, and all are together, not one part for cultural heritage and one part of, do you understand? And then uh, we selected this uh, uh, neighborhood to, to work with these interviews, and uh, in the ball is the neighborhood when we are making another kind of, of of work, not only interviews or uh, statistical uh, data they use. This is the, in these three mm, neighborhoods, we are working several topics. And uh, the example that I would like to comment <laughs> one line is Alcalá de Henares because uh, the neighborhood is close to a, an archaeological site that you can see. This is the neighborhood, and this is the archaeological area, and this is the vulnerable. Of, uh, of this area. Um, as you can see, we have a, a team, very a strong team that I think is very important too for this practical work. And um, I think a lot of people in sits here in this idea. It's impossible only archaeologists to work in this line, no? We need to combine this kind of specialist. And I would like to, to say thank you for uh, Nebeth Corpar and Daniel Sanchez, that they are archaeologists. And, and they made a, a strong field work with, with me and another colleague, no? And then the importance of this archaeological site here is a Roman archaeological site is, um, they have a lot of barriers, they, they, they even wall, and uh, people who live um, in the area are not interested in this archaeological site because uh, have another problem. Uh, this is the the style of the this kind of neighborhood in in general. Our research question I have not repeated because the objectives are similar that I explain, but uh, we show you the methodology that we are working in this area with uh, participatory action research, and we are finished the second cycle uh, today. And as ca you can see, uh, we made a lot of effort. To, to make a new narrative to connect the uh, neighborhood with archaeological site, but not only this, to construct the new, uh, the new history of, the, of this uh, area. No? And for this, we make a lot of uh, techniques, social perception study, etc. Even participatory activities in public park. This is in classical in our research team for a lot of years, but, well, a lot of years for this last year. And uh, we are contrast the narrative that we made for people. Um, uh, we facilitate the information to reproduce in for, for them. Um, we propose several things, as I have not explained here, because I think it's not the most important. No? The idea is to, to continue with this kind uh, of, uh, of research. Uh, because we need, we need to define better our technical methodology in this case. But for me, my, my, the, 
the, the worries, the town hall, and the people who work with uh, archaeological heritage, so one second more, I think. Uh, this, uh, they are not interested in this pro project because uh, they think this is not uh, archaeology, this is not cultural heritage. No? And this is a, a strong problem. Uh, for them, uh, the management of archaeological sites or another aspect of cultural heritage in the municipality have not to do with people, I don't know. But <laughs> that is the, 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 situ the real situation. Uh, we are happy with the result of the project because in general the narrative that we made for people, uh, we can contrast in with different techniques like participatory action and people that are Okay, I agree, I agree with our conclusion or our proposal, that, but we need more time. Even we are conscious, uh, we are working with sociology disaster, the problem uh, with some sector in the case it's all the same. It's sad to say, but my experience is the same. Gypsy community, we have a lot of problems to integrate in the initiative and uh, they participate uh, in this. Anyway, I think, Thank you so much for your passion for my English. I hope you more or less understand my presentation. But I think I encourage you to try to look for this kind of project where archaeologists and cultural heritage are not the protagonists. It's one thing more. And I think it's the new position of the archaeology and the professional, not as facilitator, and look for, for, for experience where we can integrate uh, different values or resources in in our life and nothing else if you want to <laughs> to contact with me or we see, uh, follow our group here the information. Nothing else.